Welcome to the Buildings Canada webinar, the survival guide for contractors, aimed to educate and inspire professionals within construction, engineering, design, property management, and renovation. Today's speaker is Nolan Fraser, sales engineer of Procore. Without further delay, I'd like to introduce the team from Procore. All right, how's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Nolan Fraser. Hopefully, you can see my camera there. Um, I'm one of the solutions or sales engineers at, at Procore here. I'm actually located in the headquarters office down in Santa Barbara, California. Um, a little bit about my background. I come from the construction industry, so I worked as a construction manager as well as a project manager um, in my prior life before coming to the company. I've had the opportunity to use different tools um, like Procore and had the opportunity to use Procore directly on a few projects, which also led to the, the opportunity here at, at the company. So what my role really entitles is, is working with our account executives, which are our sales reps, um, to do deep dive demonstrations on the platform and helping our clients evaluate the system. So it's good to meet everyone. Um, so we'll be going through a few slides here. At the end of the conversation, we will leave it open for Q&A. So feel free to ask questions throughout um, and we will be able to, to answer, those, answer those before we get off by the end of the day. So clicking through the next slide here. Um, the agenda of the conversation today is gonna to cover these topics. So the first one here, we're really talking about taking quality and safety to the next level, right? So with schedules tightening and the complexity and risk increasing on construction projects, um, it's more important than ever to, to manage quality and risk at a deeper and more detailed level. And the next one we have there is technology, right? So investing in, in systems and technology like Procore. On a daily basis, technology is becoming more and more advanced in the construction industry. So, you know, it's more and more important than ever to take advantage of these tools as they become available. Then we've got creating collaborative environments. So with collaboration, the key to successful projects is ensuring that everyone is working on the same page. With systems like Procore, you're able to get all the project users within one system, uh, being able to collaborate and, and work off the same sheet of music, to say the least. Um, and then we've got developing standard processes. So there's a real power in, in truly ensuring that companies have built in standard procedures to ensure that the operations are consistent across the company. And then we've got efficiency. The more time that can be saved in construction, construction the greater chance for success and profitability. Field and office link. Um, this, is, this really speaks to a lot of Procore strengths, right? So the benefits of having a real-time link between the field and office is far-reaching in terms of drastically reducing or eliminating rework, as well as increasing the efficiency on a project. Then the last one we've got there is going to be providing real-time financial data, right? So with our product line, construction financials, as a project management team, you know, is able to work and access real-time financial data, they're, they're much more able to make informed decisions and be way more efficient on their projects. All right, so from there, we'll jump to the next slide. Quality and safety, right? So billions of dollars are spent on rework every year. Numerous studies have been conducted over the years indicating that literally billion, billions of dollar, dollars are spent on rework. And I think it's safe to say that each person on the call can think of at least one project instance in which they had some type of rework. Errors and mistakes will always be present, but the key is really developing the most efficient ways to manage quality and ensure that things are being done right the first time. So with, with numerous resources available in the market, for managing quality like Procore with our quality and safety tools, it's really imperative that we, we shift from the pins and, and clipboards to solutions that provide instant quality and safety data from the field as it's happening. Uh, with tools like Procore, you're able to you know, eliminate that, that the paper and the pencil and really use your mobile devices in the field to, to go through checklists, create observations on the fly, take pictures and instantly assign those items to individuals through the system and make that information available in real time to anybody who's using the Procore system. Next there, we've got, you know, making quality and safety a real-time process. So you'll see, you know, real time is going to be a consistent theme across this. So what previously seemed impossible in terms of communicating quality and safety data in real time is now very possible. The tools are in place to document this info on the spot in the field and have it instantly transmitted to all associated parties, including subcontractors and other key stakeholders. Right, the communication gap has significantly been decreased through the current technologies. 
So next we're talking about incre increasing accountability and visibility. This, this is gonna be consistent across all the different topics we talk about today, but specifically to quality and safety. You know, through various technologies and processes that have been developed in recent years, it's much easier than ever to create accountability, accountability and visibility into items related to quality and safety. It's amazing to, to think about the power of creating a quality item in the field and immediately sending it out to the associated party. To take it a step further with current technology, the assignee can then look at this item on their phone, right? They get it directly in their email and make a correction or response right in the field before leaving the job site. So all this stuff is happening instantaneously without having to wait to, you know, get that paper back to the office, send out those emails, make phone calls. It, it's really shoring up that process into a, a quicker time frame. Then we're talking about setting clear expectations for quality and safety management. So one of the more useful aspects I've found and seen with our clients is the ability to report off the data that's created in the field. With Procore's custom reporting tool, you're able to, to create reports and visuals that are specific to what you wanna see out of the system. Um, the tra traditional way of reporting included bundling items into emails, creating a Word doc, uh, you know, an Excel sheet, et cetera. But with the current available technologies, it's now possible to report on the field data across the project and company and provide real-time and up-to-date information. And lastly, you know, it's, it's now easier than ever to, to set clear expectations for quality and safety management. When the safety and quality standards are established, it's much easier to maintain a culture of safety as well as quality and discipline across all projects. All right, so next here we're talking about technology, right? This is something I'm really passionate about. Part of the reason why I made the shift to, to the, the company at Procore. So first thing to focus on, you know, making the commitment to the technology that's available to you. You know, through mobile technology, we now have the ability to link field data seamlessly to the office and other remote locations. I often see and hear of companies that make an investment in particular, in a particular software, but are hesitant to make the necessary hardware or device purchases, right? Something like an iPhone or an iPad or, or Android, Windows 10, Surface, right? These are things that, that are available to us now. Um, but this is ultimately what is what leads to a dramatic drop in the efficiency rating of the software that they purchase. So again, it's making that commitment and the investment up front to the, to the proper hardware, not, you know, along with the software. Then we've got understanding the power and limitations. So technology should very much be used as an accelerator. It has the ability to make processes more efficient on a day-to-day -day basis. Real results can be seen in cutting down the time it takes to create a change order, right? Processing an RFI, marking up the drawings and et cetera. On the same token, technology will not solve all of your problems. It is still critical to standardize a process and ensure that the most effective principles are being utilized. The technology we use will only be as effective as the processes and procedures that we have in place. So those are very important as well. The next here we've got, you know, providing the proper training. And, and this is what something I'll, I'll end with, with talking about Procore's training and, and support, um, as well as the expectations and environment to succeed. So one of the biggest challenges I've seen from my time in the construction, as well as working with pro current Procore customers is the challenge of getting people to adopt the technology, right? It's easy to push technology down onto someone or a team of people to mandate or expect them to use. The key I found is helping them see the benefits of the technology. How will it help their processes and make their life easier? For me personally with Procore, um, in my project management years, Procore really shortened up the time I had to spend, you know, driving from job site to job site, being that I can see the information I needed to see or get the answers I needed through the system without having to actually show up on site, right? It, it also shored up a lot of processes as far as change orders, um, budget forecasting. It, it really saved me a lot of time and, and organized my processes in the one system. And then lastly here, we've got clearly understanding and defining the role of technology in your business. So provide the training and environment for technology to, to succeed in your business, right? Standardize the process of using technology. Consider taking it one step at a time rather than implementing everything at once. And, and to, to lap onto that, Procore is really dedicated to the support and training of our clients, right? In, included with the price of Procore is gonna be unlimited support and training as well. So that's something that if you guys want more information on, at the end, I'll give you my contact information. Uh, feel free to ask. All right, next here we've got collaborative environments. 
So collaboration is a, is a big theme across the construction industry right now. So first, we're going to talk about project schedules and complexities that require the collaboration, right? So first here, now more than ever, it's, it's easy to collaborate with all the key stakeholders on a project. You know, due to the advances in technology and more specifically cloud-based solutions, project participants can be you know, up to speed on a project changes in communication instantly. No longer are things living in email or, or project binders where, say, you know, there's personnel that might change on a project and you have to go sifting through the other person's information to try to figure out what, what's been going on in that project. It's all organized now in a system like Procore where you can just click into the project and see all the relevant information. And we've got, you know, closing the communication gap, right? So whereas in the past, communication between the various stakeholders was very siloed, we now have the ability to close these gaps and keep everyone informed on the decisions and changes that are occurring constantly each day. And then staying ahead of the curve by being proactive, right? So being that all this information is in a system like Procore, we're giving you the ability to report on this information. We're really what we're trying to do is give you a better picture of what's going on in your project so you can be proactive and make decisions ahead of time versus being reactive on your projects, right? So we now have a much, much more power to stay ahead of the curve and proactively make decisions. A proactive rather than reactive approach is critical to the success of projects. And again, a lot of the functionality points back to, points back to advances in the technology. Standardizing your processes. Right, so technology can be a process accelerator, and it should be. So again, drawing on some of the past experience I've had in my career, and also visiting with numerous firms on a daily basis, as well as talking to numerous firms, it's been very clear that a, a company or a project is only as good as their processes, right? So many companies may have their latest and greatest technology in hand, but if internally they don't have the consistency with their processes, they ultimately won't be successful. So it's really trying to not only establish those processes, but working on, you know, driving an adoption of those processes and the technology. And projects are only as good as the processes, right? So we, we mentioned that, and then creating a culture of discipline and standards. So conversely, I've met with numerous firms that have not yet started to utilize the power of technologies available. You know, most people are honestly still on Excel and using email and paper. But they have solid processes that they adhere to rigorously. Right, so when these companies begin to adopt technology, their growth has accelerated greatly because they have already solidified standard and ironclad processes. Technology can't take precedence over standard processes. For success, it must work the other way around. Once the standard procedures are in place, technology can be used as an accelerator. As great as the processes may be in a company, if the resources aren't available for the employees, the success won't be realized. Right, so with the numerous advances in technology like we mentioned earlier, we're seeing more and more the need for effective, simple to follow training resources for employees, as well as making the investment to provide proper resources and environment for new and existing employees. And again, that speaks back to Procore's unlimited support as well as, as training. And don't forget, make sure to ask questions throughout. Um, efficiency and savings, right? So we're talking about seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, and hours to days, right? So firstly here, when thinking about all the processes that need to be managed on a daily basis, as a GC on a project, saving minutes to hours becomes highly critical in terms of resources available, and as well as cost savings. To go along with the theme previously discussed, efficiency and savings comes from standardizing procedures as well as utilizing current technologies. Through these two mediums, you will see your process become more efficient, such as managing the R5 process, staying current with as-built markups on the plans, processing and distributing submittals, right? managing safety and quality in the field, processing your change orders in a quickly time, timely manner, uh, balancing the project budget with forecasting, as well as managing numerous on-the-go you know, meetings, and the list goes on throughout the system. Procore has over 27 tools within it. Uh, we, we can talk forever about that. And then, you know, as you dig deep and pinpoint current inefficiencies and create a plan to first standardize your processes and then utilize the current technologies, you'll see processes that typically took hours turn to minutes and even sometimes minutes turn to seconds. Linking the field to the office. 
So in here, we're going to talk about the mobile functionality within Procore and just talk about some themes there. So providing tools and processes for success, like we mentioned earlier, um, I'm confident that every person on this call has had an instance um, you know, in which rework resulted from the current information not being available to those working in the field, right? Whether that's working off an old set of drawings, um, a non-updated, you know, submittal um, item or whatever it might have been, something that was actually closed out and the work was actually finished and somebody's looking for it. But it, a lot of that's going to be around working off that current set of drawings. Through various mediums of cloud technology, we no longer need to wonder if people in the field are working off the correct information in terms of drawings, documents, RFI responses, again, submittals and quality data. We no longer need to manually facilitate this connection between the field and office. No more VPN, uh, you know, emailing or, or things like that, as well as wondering if the data is actually accurate. Many times it's, it's not realizing there's a problem until the change order delay results. So speaking to that, Procore does, it has a specific drawing tool that, that speaks to this functionality, right? So we make the process of uploading your drawings, splitting them out by, by title and discipline, as well as, as, as sheet number. Um, anytime you re revision those drawings, if you upload a revision that might include five or 10 sheets, it automatically slips sheets them to the right place. So we really turn in the process of, of keeping the drawings up to date. Again, like we spoke to before from a process that might've been taking you hours to hopefully a process that's taking you minutes and seconds. And then lastly, reporting is a major key to being as effective and efficient as possible. Again, we no longer need to rely on the manual process of creating emails with data reports or combing into Word docs or spreadsheets, right? We can compile this data across multiple projects and processes to provide a much better view into the current state of a job, which becomes critical for linking data between the field and the office. So Procore does have native applications for Apple iOS, Windows 10, as well as Android devices. All right, real-time financial data. So firstly, we're gonna talk about here realizing the need for current and up-to-date financial data. Traditionally, there's been potential for a disconnect between the project management and accounting size of construction project. Um, I know for me personally, before I had Procore, I was relying on reports from the accounting team in the office uh, that would take anywhere from, from two weeks to three weeks for me to get. By the time I got that information, it was out of date. Um, and I was using Excel to keep my logs up to date. Once I adopted, our company adopted Procore, it gave me an environment of my own where I could make my, my forecast and keep up with my job to date costs um, in my own system. That, you know, we also have accounting connectors. So if, if you have an accounting solution that connects with Procore, there's also a way for the systems to speak which then again gives the PM or the PE, whoever it might be, their own environment to, to, to keep up to date with their budget and their forecast. Then we're talking about involving the key players in the field and the office, right? So now more than ever, it's easy to provide real-time financial data from the field to accounting and vice versa. Specifically with our accounting, accounting connectors, we can pull in job-to-date costs from the accounting system into Procore's budget to give you a view of where your budget stands today, where it was initially, where your costs stand today, and where you're projecting that to be at the end of the job. And lastly here, it's, it's understanding what's at stake financially, right? This helps facilitate a quick decision, quick decision making from both sides regarding the project. So from there, uh, we're gonna open it up to Q&A. So I see we have a few questions. Uh, feel free again to, to pour in with more questions if, if you want. Um, so the first one here we've got is from Reza. So when you make an update to a mobile device, do those changes update in real time? That's a great question, Reza. Um, so with the mobile devices, as long as you are connected, so whether it's Wi-Fi or you have a, a 4G connection, whatever it might be, anything that happens in the app um, that you do, it will update all of the systems in real time. So that will automatically shoot straight up to the cloud and update the data in real time. Procore apps also have offline functionality. So meaning if, if I wanna access my drawings, if I wanna create an RFI or, or perform my inspection or quality, quality inspection checklist, create an observation in the field, 
or do my daily log for the job. I can do all of that functionality offline on the mobile device. And as soon as I get back to a connection, all that information automatically shoots up to the cloud. So hopefully that answers your question there, Reza. And I see you've got another question here. Um, is Procore compatible with Microsoft Office? So um, that's, that's a kind of high level general question. So everybody's Procore instance. So you know, Procore has a directory that has users within it. Every user is associated with an email address. Now, whether that's a, um, an Office email address, you know, whether you guys use an Outlook or you're using something like Gmail, um, anything that's created through the Procore system. So say I create an RFI and assign it to you, Reza. It will send an email to your Outlook, right, where you'll get all the information that I created on RFI. But so the question, the subject, um, a, the picture I might have taken and, and attached to that RFI, as well as a link to the drawings, right? So all that's going to come through in the email. Um, you can store any Office file within the Procore system. You can open up Word files and Excel files and edit them um, and have them save, save through our Procore documents tool. So there's a lot of ways we can go with that question. Um, if you want to dig into more detail, please feel free to ask more questions there. All right, questions from Rick. So Rick is asking, we use PM software but have a hard time getting our extended team to adopt it. Any advice on getting more buy-in from the entire team? So there's two different answers to that question. So if you're talking about your internal team, like guys like your superintendents, um, PEs, it's really um, getting them into the system and, and helping them see the benefits, right? So me personally, I had a superintendent on my job who did not want to use Procore. So what I did was like, I was like, I told Rick, I said, hey, we're both going to do our daily logs. You'll do it on paper and pen like you're, you're currently doing it. And I'll, I'll use Procore. So for a week, Rick and I would, would do our daily logs. And at the end of the week, we compare processes and compare the information. So every day I would do my daily log in Procore. It took me about a minute to complete all the information I needed. Um, at the end of the week, Rick decided to, to wait to the end of the week to compile all his information and put it into the daily log. Rick had to fill out all the paperwork. He had to go back in the office on Friday after work and scan all the information in, into our databases and also email all that information out to the people who needed it. As soon as I did my daily log in Procore, all the information was available to the people who needed it. So I got to go home at the end of Friday and it took me probably 10 times less time to do my daily, daily log than Rick. So that experience let Rick know that, man, I can save a lot of time with this. So the next week he adopted just using the daily log tool. So we, we had him do that for a week. And then the next week after that, we gave him another tool. We gave him you know, observations. So we just slowly gave different tools to, to the superintendent to, to kind of help him adopt the system over time so that he could see the benefits that he was getting out of it. Um, and also there's, you know, good ways to provide incentives. I know there was one of our clients who, uh, they did a competition. So they basically said the, the, the superintendent with the most usage, usage in the app that did the most daily logs in the application in the month uh, would, would get a reward at the end of that month. And that drove those guys to use the tool and actually got them inside and they ended up loving it. Now for external um, project collaboration, like you know, if you're if you're the GC and you're trying to get your subs to use it, um, for for me, we mandated that our subs submit their monthly payment invoices or requisitions to us through the system. Um, initially, it was a a pain for them because it was something new, right? They hadn't tried it, they didn't know what it was like. They just they were used to doing what they were currently doing. Um, but what was great is Procore did provide the unlimited support, so I didn't have to train the subs on it. They they called Procore themselves, and it was proven that it was a quicker process. It was a lot easier for the subs and, and it made it easier for me because I'm, I'm now receiving all my payment applications from my sub contractors in the same format. So I'm not having to convert all these different pay apps into the format that my company needed. It was already done. So there's a lot of ways to skin that cat. It's a great question, Rick. Um, I see the next one you have here is also wondering what qualities should I look for in a construction software package that will help with scalability? That is a great question. So and looking at PM software, you're going to see a lot of different ways that the software is priced, right? Um, in a lot of the cases, you're going to see it's based on a user license. So for every user, you have to pay a fee. Or it's going to be something like a per project license. So for every project, you have to pay a certain fee. Or if you want the mobile and you want the web functionality, you have to pay a separate fee for those. Uh, the way Procore prices is going to be 
based on the company size. And we give you unlimited users, unlimited projects, right, based on the volume, as well as unlimited support and training through the system. That way, we're trying to drive the collaboration. You're not having to pick and choose which people get logins to the system. It's really up to you on how many people you want to add at that point. It's, it's unlimited. So that's one thing I look for in software because I wanted to be able to, to invite whoever I wanted into the system to collaborate. So that's a big thing, to, especially with scalability. Um, you know, as a company's growing, you're going to have more people. You, you, might, you, might, you might hire more people. You're going to take on more projects in a year. Um, with a system like Procore, you don't have to worry about scaling too quickly. Right, so that's a, another conversation that we can dig a lot deeper into that I would love to if, if at the end when I give you guys my contact information. Uh, Reza, so how do I convince my boss to buy Procore when we are so, such a small team? And that's a great question, Reza. Um, I would say get me on a phone call with them and maybe we can do you know, even a potentially an on-site demonstration where we can come and come to your company and, and do a demonstration for the team there and hopefully um, help your boss see the value in the system as well as understanding who we are as a company and, and you know, get to know our vision as well. And you know, we are a company who, who we definitely want, want you guys to understand that we, we drive a lot on culture, right? We hire great people and we, we retain great people and that means a lot to us. And we are constantly innovating and constantly reinvesting into the product, right? So that, that's a great question. And then you ask, is there a trial version? Yes, there is a trial version. Uh, you would need to contact uh, our sales department for that. So you could contact me directly, um, but there is a trial version. All right, Jerry. So what happens if there's no internet connection on the job site? So Procore does have offline capability. So if there is no internet connection on the job site, like I mentioned earlier, you can still use the application. You could still view your drawings. You could still view, view your documents. So all those, that information is cached on the device. So you can access it offline and anything you change. So whether you're doing your daily log or creating a, a punch list item or an observation, you could do all of that offline. And as soon as you get back to a connection, it automatically shoots that information up to the cloud. All right, Joan, what is the average amount of time for someone to learn how to use the system and get back on the job site? That is a great question. So if you look across the industry, as far as construction project management software, People will tell you something like four to six months to, to implement software. Procore touts a, a four to six week implementation time, and that can consist of different phases, right? So we're talking, we're, we're going to break it up by, by the tool sets as well as the, the different personas, you know, so we're, we're going to train the PMs, we're going to train the superintendents. So within that four to six week time frame, we're going to have your entire company up and running. So that's all projects, all staff up and running on the app and, and ready to go. For me personally, when we adopted Procore, um, I'm a bit younger. My, my generation is the, the millennials, right? So I've been using applications like this my entire life. Uh, it took me about two weeks to really get comfortable with the system and, and almost reach a, a level of somewhat mastery in the system. So that's a great question, Joan. Um, Frank, is the Procore software used more for commercial or residential construction projects? That is a really good question. So I'd say the bulk of our customers do commercial, residential, institutional, um, mostly ground up. Uh, we have quite a few customers that also do, um, you know, horizontal construction. Um, and we've also got a lot of clients who do multifamily as well as residential. So it, it our our client base really it scales the construction industry, but the the majority is ground up construction. Um, Three, is, is there a training that Procore offers for new clients? If so, how would that work when a new company would like to adopt the software? So if you're already a client um, and you've already gone through implementation, you can still use Procore's unlimited training, right? So we have the online training where you can go through and get Procore certified. Um, if you are a client and you have not gone through implementation, you'll still have your consultation calls with your implementation manager, as well as the access to all our training materials online. Um, if you are not a client and you would like to become a client, I would suggest you get in contact with me at the end of this call and I will provide you with my contact information. Um, and then Joan, how often does the software get updated? Is it frequent? Am I going to spend a lot of time waiting for updates? That is a great question. So being that Procore is cloud-based, we push updates to the system daily, uh, but the system never goes down for that. 
we have one down period weekly. It's on Saturdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. And those are for major weekly updates. But we push incremental updates to the system every day, fixing bugs, um, introducing new functionality. But you won't have to experience any downtime with that. We also release major releases probably once a quarter, where it could be anything from adding a new tool, um, changing the way a, a certain tool works, or adding functionality to ex an existing tool. That's a good question. But yeah, with the cloud-based technology, we don't have to we don't have to shut down the system in order to update. It, it's automatically updated, and you get that functionality as soon as you log in. Okay, so Joan, does this platform work internationally? Do you have any clients in Asia? Yes, it does. So we have clients, we have an office out in Sydney who, who serves our, our APAC region, so Asia Pacific. Um, so we have clients in Hong Kong, uh, Seoul, South Korea, uh, plenty of clients out in, in, in Australia. Um, and we have clients in Indonesia as well. And then also to other international regions, we, we have quite a few clients in Canada. Um, you know, spanning from Alberta, Vancouver, Toronto, uh, Montreal, throughout the whole country. And we also have quite a few clients down in Mexico as well. All right. Next question. I am just pushing renovation business. Do I need Procore software now or wait till the business gets bigger? That is a good question. So if you have projects now, um, I don't know how big your business is, but if you have projects now, uh, you know, multiple projects, Procore is a good option for you now. You don't have to wait until your business is bigger. Uh, being that Procore is scalable, right? We have clients that do, you know, anywhere from, from two to $10 million a year in construction. And we also have clients that do upwards of, you know, 3.5 billion in construction, right? Turner Construction is one of our clients. Um, they, they're, they just came on enterprise wide. So every one of their locations is using Procore. And we've also, like I said, we've got clients that do anywhere from one, two to $3 million a year in construction volume. So Procore is a scalable solution uh, for any size company. These are great questions. Keep them coming, guys. All right, more questions. Does my hardware have to be up to date? I'm still using an old BlackBerry. <laughs> Good question, John. Um, so Procore is a, is, a, is a web application, right? So it's, it's browser-based. So if you're using anything like Google Chrome, um, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, whatever browser you're using, Procore works on every single one. So that's the only thing you really need to keep up to date. Now, as far as mobile devices, um, Procore creates native apps for the different operating systems. So uh, like an like a iPhone. So I have my iPhone here. So I can basically, let me show you really fast. Procore is an app within the app stores. You'll see at the top there and I can just click into the application. So the only thing I need to keep up to date is just a new, you know, any recent device will work with for the system. Uh, Rick, okay, do you have an example of a case study where Procore significantly helped turn around a project gone wrong? We do have great case studies on our website. So I will search for some of those and try to get them over to you. Alicia, if you're listening, it'd be nice if you can try to scroll through some of those and find one for me. And speaking to that too, Rick, um, it depends on where the project is in the stage, right? If the project is over 60% complete, um, Procore is not something that's going to be able to come in and completely make that a successful project, right? It, it's still going it, to, it will show you some value. Um, as far as, you know, being able to manage the drawings and, and manage the closeout process. Um, but we, we typically recommend that clients bring on projects that are less than 40% complete or 30% complete in order to truly get the, the full value out of the system. All right, if you want to know more about Procore, um, please feel free to directly contact me or we also have, you know, our website where you can get in contact with us. Um, I also dropped my, my cell phone number in there as well. Um, or my business one, I should say, sorry. Um, but yeah, if we can bring up the slide with the contact information, that'd be great. Perfect. All right, so that 866 number is a, is a Procore sales number. 
um, and that is my direct email address. So if you wanna reach out to me directly, uh, feel free. So I'll give you a second to take that down. And then lastly, a few other things I wanted to quickly touch on. So Procore has introduced a, a new theme to the industry, right? Construction OS. So what this really speaks to is it's, it's a system designed to run the entire life cycle of a construction, connecting every application and business operation to an integrated expandable platform. Within the Construction OS, we have the three different product lines that you can learn a lot more about by contacting us as project management, quality and safety, and construction financials. Procore also has an app marketplace. So like I mentioned earlier, we have out-of-the-box integrations with a lot of accounting systems, but we also have integrations with pre-construction tools or, or business analytics tools or productivity tracking tools, right? So that's in our app marketplace, and you can access that through the Procore website as well. It's just procore.com or marketplace.procore.com. And then we've also got the Builders Club, right? So this is a, a good way to kind of join the, the Procore um, environment, right? So in the Builders Club, you can do things like read different articles, take challenges, and really get involved in the Procore ecosystem um, within, within the company here. And then here's all our social, social media information, right? So our Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram accounts. If you guys want to take those down to follow. And then jobsite.procore.com is a great resource with the latest construction industry news. We're also putting a, a construction health indicator in there that we're keeping up with, uh, with the industry. And it's, it's a great website to follow. All right, well, that's it for me. If, if there's any other questions, feel free to drop them in the Q&A now, but looks like we're wrapping up. All right, again, thank you for your questions. Thank you for your time. Hopefully I was somewhat helpful for you today. Um, and reach out to us at my email or, or, or those contact numbers. Thank you. And that's the end of this webinar, the Survival Guide for Contractors. If you missed any of today's webinar, it will be posted on buildingscanada.com under Available Webinars. Make sure that you bookmark buildingscanada.com as your go-to resource for accredited expert webinars, innovative product showcases, breaking industry news, white paper reports, upcoming events, and more.